Pumpkin pie is a lie. It's usually made of squash. Butternut squash, to be exact. Don't believe me? Look at the ingredient list on any canned pumpkin you purchase. What if there are other things that are made from squash? Today, we'll be making a pumpkin pie the right way. That is, with actual pumpkin inside. I hope this first step won't come as a surprise, because we're headed to a pumpkin patch. All right, we're en route to the pumpkin farm. It's about an hour and a half drive, so kind of a haul. But if I'm being honest, I have not been to a pumpkin patch yet this season, so I'm pretty excited. See you there. Oh, I hit myself in the nose. Ow. We're actually making a pumpkin pie just straight from a pumpkin. Okay. Should be kind of fun. All right, all set? All set. Ready? Oh, let's do it. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. This is, the, this is like the treatment right here. Manny, you got a wristband. I get one too? Yeah. yeah. Even Manny gets one. <laughs> Even Manny. Usually he doesn't get much, but today he gets some. The maze is actually behind that green tent. Okay. That's where the entrance is. So I would suggest running through a couple times. You guys will probably I'm gonna, figure it out. Right? Yeah, but no, I'm into that. All. So it turns out there's actually a lot more to do here than just grab a pumpkin. So I think we're gonna do all the activities, right, Manny? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. the thing we drove literally an hour and a half to get here it's funny i came here just to pick up a pumpkin there's so many activities to do nick oh nick So the real question here is, which of these many beautiful pumpkins will we be using today for this pumpkin pie? Nick, you know, we, we actually can't use those pumpkins for the pumpkin pie. Why? It's not a sugar pumpkin. Maybe we've made a big mistake. So apparently it turns out you can't make a pumpkin pie with a regular carving pumpkin. There's a massive difference between a carving pumpkin and a sugar pumpkin. Most people probably know them as pie pumpkin. But like I said, most pumpkin pies are made from squash, so that's where it gets all so confusing. Manny, I hate to say it, I think we just drove an hour and a half for no reason other than some farm-filled fun. Hey Nick, can I get some donuts? No, come on. Oh, all right. Well, we drove an hour and a half here, but it was all well worth it. Not to brag or anything, but I escaped the corn maze pretty quickly. But now, in addition to the rest of the pumpkin pie ingredients, I need to find myself some pie pumpkins as well. We've made it back and I've got my ingredients here waiting for me. And most importantly, we've gotten our sugar pumpkins. I wasn't joking about the rotisserie chicken, by the way. It is, without a question, my favorite food. To start, we wanna make our delicious pumpkin puree, which means we have to chop these bad boys up. You know, I always wished I was good at pumpkin carving, but I guess this will have to do in the meantime. Once our pumpkins are all chopped up, I think it's finally time for me to part ways with my wristband. When cooking the pumpkin, I wanna do something more fun than just boiling it. So we'll start with a little bit of butter. And once we've got our nice brown butter, we'll toss in that pumpkin, then hit it with some pumpkin spice salt, and just a touch of brown sugar to help caramelize faster. Once our pumpkin is soft and caramelized, I'll add it to my blender and let that baby blend. <laughs> with 15 ounces of our pumpkin puree, one 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk, two large eggs, and then one teaspoon ground cinnamon, one half teaspoon ground ginger, and a half teaspoon of ground nutmeg. Wait, we're grinding our nutmeg ourselves. Last but not least, just a little pinch of salt, and then it's time to mini whisk it up. Now it's time for our pie crust, so into a food processor, we'll go in with one and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour, trying not to spill it all over the counter, of course, and I'll follow with just a little pinch of salt. Pulse this up. We'll follow this with 10 tablespoons of unsalted cold butter cut into cubes, and because I'm lazy, I'm just gonna toss in one big cube at a time. Once again, pulse it up. To finish our dough, we're gonna add ice cold water one tablespoon at a time, pulsing until we have little clumps about this size. Now our dough is complete. It should be moist, but not wet. Now flour your work surface, then we'll toss down our dough and work it until it's nice and flat.
Once we've rolled out our crust, roll this up on your rolling pin to allow yourself to easily transfer it onto your final baking dish. To assemble, I'm gonna go in with my pie crust with some perfect browned butter. This stuff is liquid gold when it comes to cooking. And while it may seem crazy, I'm a true believer that this can completely transform many dishes in cooking. And all it takes is heating up your butter for a few extra minutes. At this point, we'll roll in that pie crust and then gently make sure it fits to the edge, going all the way around and being careful not to break anything. And now it's time to trim, but we wanna leave a little bit of that crust hanging over the edge. So I'll come all the way around with my knife, again, making sure to leave ample space on that edge for a nice crust. Now we'll spin it around and crimp all those edges for the signature pie crust look, at which point it's ready to fill. And now perhaps my favorite part of everything we're doing today, the pour. As my final touch, I wanna add little streaks of extra pumpkin into the pie. This will change up those flavors and that consistency just a little bit and almost give that inside of the pie a nice kind of swirl to it. Now we'll toss this in the oven for 15 minutes at 425 Fahrenheit, then turn down the heat to 350 Fahrenheit and bake another 35 to 40 minutes until finished. I wouldn't exactly call myself a baker, but this pumpkin pie right here is gorgeous. While our pie rests for a few minutes, let's go ahead and make some whipped cream. Well, for that much whipped cream, that was pretty quick. I am proud of myself. Now we'll go in with just a pinch of sugar as well as a small touch of salt. And for now, our whipped cream is complete. This right here is gonna be the moment of truth, but I'm gonna try to take this entire pumpkin pie out of its pan and it should gently slide right out onto my cutting board. Just take a listen for a second. That right there tells me that we nailed the perfect crust. And did you see how easy that crust was to make? It's time to take a nice slice out of our pie and it's time for us to make the perfect thumbnail. That's a perfect slice of pumpkin pie straight from a pumpkin. And look here in those middle sections where I said you'd get those streaks of pumpkin. That right there is gonna give you a blast of pumpkin puree, that pure delicious flavor. It's a nice change from the normal everyday bite that you get from a pumpkin pie. I think we can all agree that this right here is the most beautiful piece of pumpkin pie. If you wanna be fancy, finish it off with some pumpkin spice salt and then grab a giant spoon or fork because you're gonna want one. First, listen to the crust. I don't consider myself a great baker, but I am beyond happy with this final product here. Let's take a bite. This is the kind of thing that really makes me want to start baking more. I mean, the idea that we can turn something like this into a beautiful piece of pie is amazing to me. Now, technically, I understand there will be many people in the chat that point out that it was a tart pan and not a pie pan. And you know what? Fine. You got me. But this crust we got from that tart pan is perfection. You can even see some of those golden brown layers we got. And just listen. Please trust me when I say that this pumpkin pie right here was a 10 out of 10. Thank you, sugar pumpkin. To close, I want to remind you once again to toss a like on the video and subscribe. If you're questioning whether or not to toss a like on the video, know that I drove three hours today to go to a pumpkin patch and back for absolutely no reason. But I still loved it. Happy cooking.